All right, chain link on the daily chart. We're trying to find a bottom here. So far, not sure yet. Why? Because we've, we're still making lower lows. Here's our kind of our low area back in late January and another lower low. So far, uh, we're still trying to find our bottom. So if we zoom out here, uh, where could we potentially be bottoming? Well, you know, your guess is as good as mine. Uh, and nobody knows that answer. But if we just look at the charts on a weekly scale, it tends to be a little bit easier to follow. And, you know, these are our Bollinger Bands. So on the weekly scale, I would say somewhere around the $10 area looks looks to be good. doesn't mean we have to go down there. Uh, you can also see kind of this area, right? Somewhere around there, uh, if we make it down here, that would be kind of a logical place uh, just based on this chart alone. Uh, we could also, you know, extend this up. We don't have to go all the way down here. We could already be in the kind of the bottom zone area, right? So, you know, I know this is a big box from 15 to uh, 7, 750 or so. Um, but, you know, looking at this chart alone, uh, we're kind of the opposite of this. A uh, sign of strength on Bollinger Bands is when you're hugging the top. A sign of weakness on the Bollinger Bands is when you're hugging the bottom, right? So we're almost flipped this. So... Uh, now, uh, you know, is this the time to exit? You know, not likely. You've kind of missed that. Uh, that ship has kind of sailed, right? If you're already down, what, 75% uh, and you rode this all the way down, then, you know, who cares if we go, if we go down another 20%, right? Uh, the, 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 the asset will, uh, across all crypto, most, most coins are very similar to this. So it's not just Link. The bottom, you know, it could take another month. It could take another two months, three months, whatever. But if if you've ridden this down, it's, you know, you, you likely lost your opportunity to be selling. So best now just to be hanging on and stomach through it. If you need to, you know, uh, you know, some money to live on and you hopefully you didn't invest too much. But if you did, you want to be selling if we get rallies. You want to sell into resistance. You want to be buying near support levels selling near resistance levels especially in a downtrend the down the, the trend is your friend that's i'm sure you've all heard that that's why they say that uh it, the downtrend is a downtrend until it's not and how do we know it's not well we have a lot of work to do on a lot of altcoins uh to be making a higher high uh link has to get to a very subtle 2750 on the weekly scale there's your high right there that's a little bit of a, a move right so you could see how that could take some time and it's probably not right around the corner. That's 100%, over 100% move uh, from where we are now. Now, going back to the daily scale. Okay, so now we notice that the bands continue to get tighter here. So that is a sign of decreased volatility. And you note know, this, this, this wick out here. And we're trying to, I feel like, find at least a local rough bottom here. So uh, with, the, with the bands constricting, uh, the volatility narrowing, uh, you know, multiple kind of uh, daily closes right around this area, this 13-ish, 13 to 1350. Uh, you know, I'd be looking for some kind of a, maybe maybe a relief rally in the not-so-distant future, right? We're, we're seeing Bitcoin um, right now. Bitcoin's at 39.3 as of recording right now. Um, are we going to spring up to, you know, 39.5, 40K? Those are kind of some decent resistance levels. So, um <laughs> You know, I wouldn't get too carried away. Uh, looking at Bitcoin here, uh, we have our top level resistance, our bottom level support. Uh, and if we close a daily candle outside of one of these yellow lines, our, the odds of us continuing in that direction greatly improve. Uh, but until that happens, we could just be range bound for a while. So keep your, keep your patience at a maximum. Uh, we're, we're just in kind of the lull of the market here and they're not fun for anyone. Uh, but, you know, the, the massive drops, the 75% drop is, uh, if you've lived through that, then, you know, your your battle scars are already apparent. Uh, so I, I would say we're just in for a, a prolong. We're going to try to find the bottom here. Um, but until Bitcoin breaks out of like 46K-ish, I would say alts are just kind of still going to stay on standby. Uh, once Bitcoin does that, then then alts will likely recover, you know, far greater and more quickly than Bitcoin. But until that happens, Bitcoin's kind of the safest play or stable coins. So if you want to offload your stable coins or offload, you know, link or, you know, any any kind of your positions, if you're overextended and you have you put too much in, you know, selling 
uh, into resistance is how you do that and not, you know, as, as you're trying to find a bottom or at support. Uh, most people tend to get that a little bit backwards. So uh, as you as you come into a rally and, you, you know, if we're making, you know, 5% headway and you have a Bitcoin rally, but, you know, Bitcoin's going into that 40K resistance, uh, you're, you know, taking a little bit of profit or a little stop loss or something uh, on your alts, you know, kind of be the way to go. Otherwise, I mean, I would just say the safest play right now is, uh, if you don't want to do anything, uh, this is not, you know, we're playing in the chop and it's not easy for anybody to tell what's going to happen, um, even pros. So, uh, I would say just kind of stay buckled down, not financial advice, but you know, that's, that's just kind of what I'm doing. Just, uh, hunker down, weather the storm and, uh, you know, uh, we'll be welcoming, uh, sunny, sunny weather soon. Uh, hopefully, uh, the DXY is getting a, a damn bit out of, out of hand here. Uh, so you can see the the massive rally that we're going on now look at the Bollinger Bands here See how far extended and although that's a very powerful move and we're still there see the bottom still opening um, We want to look for this closing and then also 90 per 90% of this uh, These candles are gonna fall inside of these bands. So uh, The farther we get outside of this the the more likely that a at least a temporary pullback because uh, the DXY is remaining you know, at least for this short term, since and I say short term from, you know, the past year or so, that's short term to me because long term is, you know, 20, 30 years. And, you know, the long term is the downtrend, right? So I know the Bollinger Bands can be a little bit difficult to see. There you go. There's your, uh, uh, you know, there's long term to me. Short term is, you know, this little move here. Uh, long term, we're making, so far, we're making lower highs uh, on the month, this is a monthly scale now. So, um, yeah, so hopefully we we don't come up and get too crazy. Uh, we're coming into kind of this local uh, monthly closes right around this hundred area. So we'll see what we end up doing here. You know, uh, when we're when we're outside of the weekly Bollinger Bands and we're coming into like monthly resistance. You know, maybe we get maybe we get some kind of rejection here that would greatly help crypto out. So there's like a line. If you want to put it on a line chart instead, you can sometimes get a little bit easier uh, resistance support level. So just a little tip there. Uh, you can use it on anything. Uh, it's right up here. You just click that and usually you're on candles. There you go. Uh, so I'll end it there. Uh, just a general crypto update here for you. And, you know, happy trails. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much.